November 13, 2019. This is it. My flight to Singapore. No turning back anymore. My friends and colleagues discourage me that it is a bad luck to fly today, Friday the 13th. On the back of my head are the pictures of possibilities that I will be offload as I will be entering Singapore as a tourist. That maybe they are right. But I need to remain strong and courageous. This one is another milestone for me. I believe that God has a better plan for me and He is with me in the journey. I don't know what to feel as I am sitting on the passenger seat of the car sending me to Taoyuan Airport. Happy and fulfilled because I successfully finished my two years contract. Sad because I will miss my friends and colleagues that became my second family in this foreign land. Nervous because I will just randomly enter into a foreign land as a tourist but the truth is, I will find employment there. But hope and faith should manifest above all. I need to compose myself because few hours from now, I will step into a new chapter of my life alone. My flight departed Taipei at around 8 o'clock in the morning and around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, I was already in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia for a 5-hour stopover. In my 5-hour stay inside the airport, I think every details of the scenario that I will be facing once the immigration officer of Singapore questioned me. I need to act and look like a true tourist. If they ask me, to whom you are going to stay here? I will tell them that my boyfriend here will support me, that he asked me to come here for a one-month vacation before going back to the Philippines. I am still in Taiwan when I already contacted an agent to search for an accommodation for me. His name is Jeffrey. That name is the one I will tell the officer as the name of my boyfriend and the address I will be staying is the accommodation that the agent reserved me beforehand. It's already 7 o'clock in the evening when we landed to Changi International Airport, Singapore. A new battlefield for me. I can do it. It is a mix of emotions again but I need to compose myself. And now it's time for me to face the immigration officer and there it goes, all the scenario in my mind a while ago are the reality right now. So glad I do my research and critical thinking. They even asked me to show the money inside my wallet as a proof that I can support myself. They even bring me to separate room, interrogate more and the officer leave. Maybe they are observing my behaviors on the camera or what, I don't know. I am so terrified that time, but I need to hide it. I need to show them that I am confident of what I'm saying. I need to do all of this for me to enter into this new chapter of my life. I know there are some lies, but my intentions are good. After a few moments, they gave me my passport with a one-month visit visa stamp on it. At last, I can breath. Step 1, done. I hurriedly run to take my luggage as the house agent is already waiting for me. It is a one rainy evening. I hire a taxi to Admiralty Station to meet the house agent who will bring me to my accommodation. The house is in Woodlands owned by old couple. I pay the one month advance rent and one month deposit. Almost half of my money is gone after I pay. I need to seek a job as soon as possible before my budget runs out. Please like and subscribe for the continuation of my journey in Singapore. What do you think will happen to me while spending my one month tourist visa? Will I am able to find employment before it's over? Please stay with me in this one-of-a-kind journey. Thank you so much and God bless you.